After nearly 60 years of educating students, Hills Elementary School in Hills, Iowa will be closing, and the Iowa City School Board cites underfunding from the state. In other words, the math that Iowa Republicans have done with school budgets is mathing, and public schools are paying the ultimate price. Hills closure will trim about $1.66 million off of the school district's budget, but that's not even a quarter of the $7.5 million that the district needs to trim off in the next two years in order to break even. One Hills Elementary School Board member actually said that it is the direct result of the governor's and legislature's decisions to take your public tax dollars and divert them away from public schools. In a packet from the district's financial oversight meeting, the board directly blamed Governor Kim Reynolds and her school vouchers program, also known as Students First Education Savings Accounts, as one of the reasons. The packet notes that if the district had their share of the $350 million taxpayer-funded school voucher program, they would have $10 million more in their budget. Remember when I said that they needed $7.5 million to break even? Districts have also been announcing massive layoffs and budget cuts because of these decisions that Iowa Republican lawmakers have made. Now, an entire school will be shuttered because of those decisions. All 126 Hills students will be bused to another school next year, and those teachers and staff will have to find employment somewhere else. Read more over at Iowa Starting Line, and thanks for watching.